anniversary of the first manned space flight by Yuri Gagarin. The very first man to travel into space holds inevitably a unique place in human history. The space shuttle flight that is happening right now and the whole range of technology which has become part of our everyday life and that we take for granted are very much a result of that extraordinary adventure of manned space flight back in 1961. The flight was a genuine breakthrough that combined the determination of mankind to stretch the boundaries of science and technology, together with the incredible bravery of an individual, Yuri Gagarin, in stepping into the unknown. And the orbit of Vostok 1 captured the imagination of people, young and old, in every country in the world. Who cannot have dreamt of the beautiful unknown of space? And who cannot still be inspired by the very first person to turn that dream into reality. Back here on Earth 50 years ago today, Yuri Gagarin was here in London about to have lunch with the Queen and indeed he went from uh, this very spot just in front of Admiralty Arch up the Mall to meet the Queen uh, uh, with uh, crowds gathered around to just see this extraordinary man. And I am delighted that the unveiling of this statue today is not just a celebration of an extraordinary event 50 years ago, but also, I believe, a great event in the relationship between the UK and Russia, and between our cultural and our scientific institutions that we have together fostered over very many years. I'm even happier to see a great explorer standing here on the Mall face to face with another great explorer just across the way with James Cook. It is a wonderful gift from Roscosmos, representing not just the achievements of Yuri Gagarin and the Russian space program, but also symbolizing how international cultural relations and collaboration in science, the arts, and education are key to the building of robust relationships between countries. The goodwill and enthusiasm that has greeted Yuri Gagarin's statue here in London is a great example of the difference that the cultural programs between UK and Russia can and will make in the future. I'd like to say welcome and introduce three people who kindly joined us to celebrate the unveiling of the statue today and who will say a few words. Firstly, Minister Vladimir Pukhovkin, head of Roscosmos, the Russian Federal State uh, Space Agency. And while without the extraordinary support of his agency, none of this would at all have been possible. Minister, thank you on behalf of the British Council for all your support. I'm also delighted to have Elena Gagarina, director of the Kremlin Museums here with us to celebrate her father's most public achievement. And it is a very great privilege and honor for the British Council to welcome their Royal Highnesses, Prince and Princess Michael of Kent, whose connections to Russia and also interest in all things aeronautical are well known to all. We're extremely honored that all of you are joining us today to unveil the statue. Firstly, however, could I invite Minister Popolkin to say a few words. И господа, большое спасибо за предоставленную возможность сказать несколько слов. Dear ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for the opportunity you've given me to say a few words. Весь этот год не только в России, но, наверное, во всем мире проходит под знаком празднования 50-летия полета Юрия Гагарина в космос. This whole year, probably not only in Russia but in the whole world, is celebrating the 50th anniversary of Yuri Gagarin's flight into space. И, конечно, Россия гордится тем, что это наш соотечественник, но если посмотреть более философски на события 50-летней давности, то, в общем-то, это был Юрий Гагарин посланцем всей Земли в космическое пространство. And though, of course, Russia is very proud that uh, Yuri Gagarin is, is Russian, uh, if we look at this question more philosophically, then we can consider him uh, a delegate from the whole earth into space. И именно он проложил 
дорогу тому освоению космоса и его использованию, которое осуществляется сегодня. И мы не всегда задумываемся, насколько жизнь сегодня зависит от космических технологий, от космических достижений. And it was him who first made that path into, into exploring space. And perhaps we don't always appreciate just how much we're all dependent on the, on the exploration of space and on things going on in space. Мы очень благодарны, конечно, британским властям, британскому совету в особенности за то, что они сделали, приложили немало сил и согласились на установку этого памятника в центре города Лондона. And of course we're incredibly grateful to the British Council and the British authorities for all the effort they've put in into erecting this monument in the centre, in the historic centre of London. И этот памятник, конечно, будет напоминать не только о том, что 50 лет назад здесь был Юрий Алексеевич, и как его встречали радостно лондонцы. This monument will not only remind everyone that 50 years ago Юрий Алексеевич was here and how happily Londoners met him and greeted him. Но будет также напоминать нам, что нам надо быть вместе, особенно в освоении и использовании космоса. But it will remind us that we must be together in their exploration and use of space. Я уже говорил, что Россия немало внимания этому уделяет, и поэтому позвольте мне зачитать приветствие президента Российской Федерации участникам и гостям торжественной церемонии открытия памятника Гагарина в Лондоне. I've already said that Russia considers this very important. Therefore, please let me read a message from uh, President of Russia, Dmitry Medvedev, to the participants and guests of the grand unveiling of the monument to Yuri Gagarin in London. Уважаемые дамы и господа, рад приветствовать вас на церемонии открытия памятника первому космонавту Земли Юрию Гагарину. Dear ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to greet you at the ceremony of the unveiling of this monument to the first of the Earth's cosmonauts, Yuri Gagarin. В этом году мы вместе отмечали 50-летие легендарного Гагаринского полета. 12 апреля был объявлен Генеральной Ассамблеей ООН Международным днем полета человека в космос. Это дань уважения мужеству и смелости первопроходцев, покорителей околоземного пространства. This year we have been celebrating together the 50th anniversary of the legendary flight of Gagarin. The UN General Assembly has declared April 12th the International Day of Human Space Flight. This is a tribute of deference to the courage and bravery of the pioneers, the conquerors of circumterrestrial space. За прошедшие десятилетия на орбите побывало свыше 500 человек, в том числе и астронавты из Великобритании. Благодаря труду космонавтов, ученых, конструкторов из разных государств, мировая наука получила колоссальный импульс к развитию. Были созданы уникальные технологии и приборы, которые сегодня служат всему человечеству. In the past decades, over 500 people have gone into orbit, amongst them a British astronaut. Thanks to the efforts of cosmonauts, scientists and engineers from different countries, world science has received a huge impulse to develop. Unique equipment and technologies were developed which now serve the whole of humanity. Убежден, что открытие памятника в Лондоне, который Юрий Гагарин посетил полвека назад, послужит укреплению дружбы и сотрудничества между народами России и Великобритании. А новые поколения исследователей специалистов наших стран достойно продолжат традиции своих предшественников. I am sure that the erection of a monument in London, which Yuri Gagarin visited half a century ago, will serve to strengthen the friendship and collaboration between Russia and Great Britain. And the new generation of researchers and specialists from both our countries will honorably continue the traditions of their predecessors. Желаю вам всего самого доброго, президент России Дмитрий Медведев. I wish you all the very best, the president of Russia, Dmitry Medvedev. Спасибо. The 12th of April 1961 is one of the most remarkable dates of the world history which united different countries and continents in one burst of happiness, man in space. Hearts of all people of our planet were brightened and this event presented good and mutual understanding which never borders nor language barriers were able to prevent. And our today's celebration is a worthwhile example of this. Space exploration is a strong catalyst for science and technology 
which became one of the key factors of the modern world progress, which extremely short periods of time. Space exploration broadens intellectual sphere, sphere of interaction between man and nature, stimulates development of electronics, mechanical engineering, computer engineering, energetic, and many other fields of knowledge. Fifty years passed from the day when Yuri Gagarin was a journey into space, and significant alterations took place within time through, and it was half a century ago, many people uh, dreamed of stars and find their hope in space. Every new successful step in the exploration of space people apprehend as a great history and as an outstanding event in history of Earth civilization. I greet all the people who came today to the ceremony and I would like to express my greatest gratitude to all the Londoners, to all the people of the United Kingdom and people of London, mostly all of you, for making Gagarin a Londoner. Thank you very much. here to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the most remarkable flight in history. Yuri Gagarin was the first man ever to leave Earth's orbit and to view our own planet from beyond the atmosphere. And from the moment he touched down, he became an international ambassador for scientific development. Soon after his flight, as you've heard, he stood here in London to a rapturous welcome, bringing with him some of the euphoria that had attached to him in his own country. The pioneering achievements of Russian space travel have developed into a spirit of international collaboration which permeates all space exploration to this day. As a long-time visitor to Russia, I'm specially pleased with the warm relationship between the Russian Federal Space Agency and the British Council has resulted in the gift of this statue to Britain. And it does indeed seem particularly fitting that it should stand opposite the one of Captain Cook, who was, as we've heard, the first circumnavigator of the globe. The Gagarin statue will stimulate enormous interest in Britain and throw new light on the achievements of the Russian space program, which is so little known in our own country. Мои российские друзья, это событие является самым важным, самым значительным в развитии отношений между нашими двумя странами. Нам особенно приятно, что сегодня с нами дочь космонавта Елена Гагарина, и сейчас я приглашаю ее совместно со мной открыть памятник ее отцу. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. 